everyone, I'm Lola here at FK Irons today to talk about a feature that I like to use, eGIF. And for more videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe to the FK Irons channel. In this video, we're going to talk about what is eGIF, how is it helpful, when to use it, and when I personally like to use it. One of my favorite features about the Flux Max is the improved eGIF. It's easier to activate on the digital menu and turning it on feels more responsive. So what is GIV? GIV is a setting that affects how hard or soft the needle hits the skin. And another way to think about it is how responsive it is upon impact on the skin. So when the needle hits the skin, how much will it resist when it hits a thicker or harder area in comparison to when it encounters softer, easier to penetrate skin? eGIV or electronic give is a function built into FK machines. It gives artists a way to soften the impact of the needle on the skin. This is separate from the machine speed settings and the stroke choice, but they all work together. There are three levels of eGIV which can be selected from the built-in menu. Zero is no give, one is low give, two is medium give, and three is high give. With zero or low eGIV settings, the needle hits the skin harder. And as you go up to three, the machine applies more give, which means the needle hits more softly. So the higher the level of eGIV, the softer the needle is going to hit. With a combination of eGIV, voltage, and needle depth, you have a more versatile machine. You don't need to change out the stroke or use a different machine entirely. You have more possibilities when it comes to style and technique, and you have a way to prevent the needle from hitting too hard when you want softer shading. So let's talk about when eGIV it's helpful. It's actually a great way when you want consistent needle depth. Even with a four millimeter stroke, applying GIV means you have even more potential to achieve multiple techniques with the same machine. Whether you're tattooing in black and gray, shading, or a nice and even stippling, this gives you more possibilities. So the way I like to use this function is I actually calibrate my batteries to different eGIF settings, and then I switch them back and forth as I'm doing different techniques on a tattoo. I would probably use this more for lining and shading techniques. When I line my tattoos, I have the eGIF at zero because I like a very consistent, sharp needle depth. And then when I switch it up to something softer like shading, I'll use a two or a three depending on the placement. Well, that's it guys. That's pretty much it about eGIV. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.